self-myofascial release of that hamstring. This is going to be huge for runners or anyone who's a little bit tight in those hamstrings. It's going to give you a big release and get you a lot more range of motion in there, especially if you have knotted up muscles and unhealthy tissue. So what we're going to do is we're going to be taking that lacrosse ball and putting it right into our upper hamstring to start. So from there, we're just going to go through flexion and extension of the knee. So extending all the way up, trying to find any tight areas that you find. You can search around. Once you find one, go through flexion and extension. Here, trying to search for new spots. We're really just trying to search for any spot that feels like it's a little bit tight. We're going to sit on it, wait for a release to happen, and then search for a new area. You can stay on here for upwards of five minutes and just keep searching around until you find a nice release in that area. After you finish this, you can do a nice hamstring stretch with that new range of motion that you got and then just try to find, keep going back and forth and trying to find new motion until you're really finding an open up. I like to sometimes even stretch while I'm in here and really try to search for areas. So right now I'm moving down to my middle of my hamstring, putting lots of weight on it. You can rock side to side wherever you're finding those trigger points. You can go all the way down if you're feeling the tension towards the knee. Again, you can flex and stretch, extending the knee, searching for areas, rocking side to side. And you should feel a nice release throughout that hamstring and should help with that flexibility and any pain that you're having there.